Hello, and welcome back to The Cosmic Companion. For our season six premiere, we're gonna look at the top 10 ways space exploration benefits everyone on Earth. Let's take off. Number 10, technology. The water we drink and the food we eat is significantly safer than before thanks to technology developed for NASA missions. Robotic technology developed from the International Space Station could soon be adapted to rescue people trapped in fires, building collapses, and earthquakes. The injured and sick can now be operated on by surgeons anywhere in the world thanks to space exploration technology. And those of you enjoying a memory phone mattress, you can thank the Apollo program for your healthy back. Number nine, advancing the common good. Now, the uber wealthy in the, in the United States have armies of accountants and lawyers working to make sure their clients pay little to nothing in taxes. Although a strong argument can certainly be made that they should pay more in taxes than they do today, there is little will in the halls of power to bring this about. However, the whole purpose of a tax system, at least on the surface, is to provide a common financial pool from which to provide the goods and services we need as a society. If current laws are inadequate to tax the extremely wealthy, then private investment in space travel with the accompanying advances, advances in technology and the ways it progresses society represents perhaps one way to bring about those advances that government can't or won't provide. Such endeavors are almost certainly more beneficial than buying another private island. Number eight, advancing human rights. In the early 1960s, a dozen women trained to become astronauts, most passing the same rigorous tests demanded of their male counterparts in the early days of NASA. None of those women flew to space during the 1960s. In 2021, however, Wally Funk, one of the first lady astronaut trainees or flats, uh, touched the edge of space aboard a Blue Origin flight. At this time, the 82-year-old was the oldest person to ever reach this boundary of space. Her record was soon surpassed by another visitor to the final frontier, 90-year-old William Shatner. Today, barriers to space based on race, creed, gender, or age are quickly rumbling. This site, guys, will hopefully find its way into more aspects of our lives. Number seven, solving the climate crisis. To study global climate change, it is really only possible to do so using Earth monitoring satellites. Studies suggest that the planet is destined to undergo potentially massive climatic changes even if we greatly reduce how much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases we're putting into the air each year. So removing carbon, removing these materials from the atmosphere could represent one of the few viable options we have to avoid catastrophic climate change. And space exploration is essential to that work. Number six, spreading science. Well, I wouldn't put it on the internet if it weren't true, right? You can't believe everything. Telling what is real from what is not remains a challenge for everyone and a responsibility for all. Space exploration excites people to take up science in ways nothing else can. Reaching for the moon with Apollo inspired a generation of new scientists. Misleading claims, statistics, and half-truths wither away among a public inspired by science. At least 85% of the time. You made that up. Looking deep into the universe, we see backwards in time. And the oldest light in the universe holds secrets to how everything around us will, one day, end. 
Meanwhile, stars, planets, and galaxies dance in an intricate ballet, occasionally giving birth to life. We are a fledgling species, just beginning to visit other worlds. We are a way for the universe to understand itself. The Cosmic Companion strives to bring the universe down to Earth, and we depend on your help to make it happen. For information on subscriptions and ways to donate to this program, please visit thecosmiccompanion.net. Thank you. Number five, science supports families and communities. Over 23 years, the U.S. government spent around $10 billion developing the James Webb Space Telescope. Over that same time, the total government spending totaled about a hundred a little over a hundred trillion dollars. Now the amount spent developing web is equivalent to spending just one penny out of a hundred dollars. This minuscule investment created and continues to support hundreds of good paying jobs around the country. Given the enormous potential benefits of web, this investment in the future of humanity is likely to pay tremendous dividends for decades to come. Number four, answering the greatest question ever asked. Are we alone in the universe? This question has filled our common sense of wonder since the earliest days of humanity. Finding life on other worlds will forever change the way we look at ourselves and at each other. Knowing that we are both larger and smaller than we ever knew would be a game-changing moment in the history of the human race. A million miles from Earth, the James Webb Telescope will have the ability to carefully study the atmospheres of distant worlds. The data collected could, very realistically, provide us the first evidence ever seen of life on other worlds. Number three, space exploration could lead to the end of nations. As the last ice age came to an end, male dominated clans around the globe battled each other in conflict over long forgotten resources and ancient disputes. Space exploration offers our species a chance to move beyond rampant nationalism and jingoistic fervor, which is far too common today. Space is hard and survival is going to mean depending on people from all nations and backgrounds. Future residents on other worlds or inside distant spacecraft could grow as remote from the nations of Earth today as we are from the squabbles of ancient Athens and Sparta. Number two, don't put all your humans, in, humans into the same bucket. Or basket, whatever. Now, five times life on Earth has been wiped out through mass extinctions. We may be going through a six now and nuclear war remains a very real threat. Asteroids race around our planet, and supervolcanoes pose a very real threat to Earth. We are also on, danger, on the verge of dangers we may not yet know. But only by having thriving cities on other worlds capable of existing on their own can we forever protect our species from worldwide disaster. Number one, the overview effect. Travelers beyond our planetary cradle often report a feeling unlike that experienced by those bound to Earth. The overview effect. From high above the Earth, people see our planet without national borders, far from petty border disputes and regional skirmishes. This experience, called the overview effect, often leaves travelers to space with the realization that we are all one species living on a fragile planet. As more people experience that, that feeling, the zeitgeist of humanity will move towards a common recognition of the humanity of all. As we stand at the precipice of the next great stage in human evolution, 
space exploration offers us the greatest hope we have ever had for humanity. Visit us at thecosmiccompanion.com for full details on this story. And join us next week on the 18th of January when we're going to explore the Milky Way galaxy. We're going to be talking with Dr. Stephen Gillison of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Studies about his studies of the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Make sure to join us then. Please be safe, be healthy, and keep your wonder alive, gosh darn it. And visit us anytime at thecosmiccompanion.net.com or .tv. Subscribe or follow today and never miss an episode. Until next time, here's wishing you all clear skies. Mm.